John Willing down here at the NCC with columnist Kelly Egan. We just heard that, well, things aren't really rosy, are they, Kelly, in terms of the Re uh, Le Breton Flats redevelopment? It seems that there's some challenges with Rendezvous Le Breton Group. NCC is ready to go, but there are some um, internal struggles inside Rendezvous itself. Any surprise? Not really. There have been a lot of rumors around town about this rocky relationship between Senator Zona Eugene Milnick and John Ruddy, the principal at uh, Trinity. I must say, John, you put a little bit of a rosy effect on it. I really think that this partnership and the project is kind of hanging by a thread right now. We are almost four years since this started, and this is the 11th minute of the 11th hour, and we don't have a deal yet. Um, they're going to have a couple more months to try and resolve these things. I'm not entirely sure that that will happen, but it, this really needs a miracle at this point. I'm sure it's disappointing for the NCC, for the people of Ottawa too. It's, it's a real letdown. You know, one thing that really stuck with me during the board meetings today was the amount of emphasis, emphasis the NCC put on its own work, saying, you know what, we've carried the ball on this, we've done the work, we've consulted with the uh, Aboriginal community, we've looked into the decontamination of the property, the city has said we've done all the planning work, but it's only rendezvous that's holding up the process. Where in the past, you know, a lot of people have put the heat on the NCC for not doing enough. Yeah, you know, I kind of give them just a half a pat on the back over this, John, because this is their process, right? This is their show. And if at the end of it, you don't get the result that you want, I think you've got to own some of that. You know, first of all, I think it took too long. i would had people say to me, why wasn't there a better vetting of the financials of the principles of this before now? Why are we just finding out now that possibly Mr. Melnick and his group just won't sign on on the dotted line? I mean, it's, it's, it's so frustrating, so uh, I think there's a lot of blame to go around everywhere. So the next NCC board meeting in January is going to be the meeting to pay attention to. Actually, every NCC board meeting where LeBreton is a topic, we, we pay attention to. But it seems that January is going to be the drop-dead date as to whether we're going to have Rendezvous LeBreton Group redevelop LeBreton Flats or not. Um, so people should pay attention to OttawaCitizen.com and OttawaSun.com for all the news on the LeBreton Project.